Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud Hosting here with another great tutorial video. In this video, we're going to look at the Jet Backup utility inside of your cPanel. First, we will talk about full account backups, including what they are, what's included in them, how you can restore your site using one of these backups, and how you can download one of these backups to your computer for offline purposes. Second, we'll talk about file backups and why you would want to use this feature versus a full account backup. Third, we'll talk about database backups. And finally, we'll talk about email backups. Before we begin, it's important to call out the type of backups or snapshots that Jet Backup creates. These are called incremental backups. With incremental backups, only the files that have changed or are new since the last backup was taken are backed up. This dramatically saves valuable storage space on our backup servers, which Kimmy Cloud manages for you, but also gives you security knowing you can restore to a version of your site that was working right before something went wrong at any time. Your backups are stored in an off-site location that is separate from the server hosting your website. This means if the physical server that hosts your website were to suddenly burst into flames or disappear into another dimension, we would still be able to recover your account and everything in it. Let's get started. The first step to access Jet Backups is to log into your cPanel. If you're a Kimmy Cloud customer, you can click the link on your screen to open Lab, our client portal, and then open your cPanel. If you're not a Kimmy Cloud customer, you can log into your cPanel using the method that your host provided you. Once we have our cPanel open, look for the Jet Backups section of cPanel, which is the second from the top, and click Full Account Backups to open it. Full Account Backups include everything inside of your cPanel account. This includes all data related to your website, your databases, as well as your email accounts and messages, FTP accounts, and other settings that you may have customized. Once the full backups area is open, we can see that I have a lot of backups to choose from. Your account may have more or less backups available depending on the age of the account. Let's restore from one of our backups. Right now, my website isn't working because I installed a fishy plugin last night. Looking at the available backups, we can see that they are sorted by date, oldest to newest. So I'll need to go to page two to find the backup from last night that I want to use. Now I want to call out something under location. We can see that we have mostly remote backups, but there are two safety backups. What does this mean? Well, as mentioned before, remote indicates the backups are stored on another server offsite, while safety backups are a safe restore point which is created for the account before Jet Backups begins an account restoration. Unless you've attempted to restore your site before watching this video, you probably won't have any safety backups. Looking towards the far right column, we have two options, restore and generate download. Right now, I want to restore my site to its last known working version, which is December 29th at 2.19 a.m. To do that, I'm going to click the Restore button. Very important note, there is a possible risk of data loss in doing this. Let's say that your site is working, but you've made some design changes that you don't like and you want to restore to an earlier version. If you've also added content to your site in the form of a WordPress post with text and photo galleries, for example, in the same span of time that you have made your now dislike design changes, when you restore to an earlier backup, that content will be lost. This is why cPanel is asking if I want to confirm that I want to restore this account because all old information created after the backup restore point will be permanently lost. Since I'm sure, I'm going to check the box and click the Add to Restore queue button. Jet Backup will place my request to restore my site in queue and my restoration should be completed within a few minutes. To open this queue, let's return to our main cPanel screen by clicking the menu squares in the top left and then look for queue under the Jet Backups area. The queue displays the type of restores that you've requested in the past as well as their status. We can see the one that I've just requested is still pending. Let's go back to our cPanel home screen by clicking the menu squares in the top left corner again and return to full account backups under Jet Backup to talk about the other option next to Restore, generating downloads. This feature is super handy if you want to download an archive of your account for backing up elsewhere, like to your Google Drive, iCloud, or even your Dropbox. Downloading a backup is very easy. First, you need to click Generate Download. This will instruct Jet Backup to reach out to the offsite server that houses your account backups and compress the files into a downloadable tar.gz file. That's something that's very similar to a zip file, so don't worry. Jet Backup will also ask you to confirm your request to create this downloadable version of the backup. Similar to a restore request, Jet Backup will queue your download request until the files are ready. 
Once they are ready, you will see a button called Download has appeared adjacent to the Restore button. You can click this file to save the account backup file to your computer. Once you've finished, you can click Delete Download to remove it from your account so it's not taking up any space in your hosting. Your real backup files aren't being deleted, just the copy that was fetched from the backup server and saved to your hosting account, so don't worry. And that covers this section on using Jet Backups to restore full account backups and downloading backups for offline storage. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you join us for the next one in the series on Jet Backups where we'll be talking about file restorations. What are they and why would I want to use it versus restoring a full account backup?